Arkady, Emma, Igor, welcome to the Zoom to talk about your work. And thank you for this presentation. It was, uh, oh, I think we need a little moment to take the gravity of it in and to, to shake it off to be able to, to discuss. Um, would you like to say something uh, first? to our uh, spectators at this moment? Um, hello, everybody, whoever is uh, out there. Um, and, um, I mean, for us, it's, it's, it's kind of the first moment that this, these materials are exposed uh, uh, publicly. So, um, yeah, I mean, if, if to start the conversation is actually to, to ask you to participate in it, uh, because um, uh, I mean, the unfolding of this material is about uh, starting a discussion, uh, which is, uh, yeah, to our eyes, uh, very, very crucial. Um, so yeah, I invite you to, to comment and, and to pose questions in, in the chat. Um, Anyone else wants to say something before we dive into the questions? apart from not being live, which is a very important aspect to it. So uh, there, are, there are things that you need to imagine in relation to this particular work, which will then unfold in the work that is coming. It's important to understand that both in, in form and also in, in the fact that the, the end of the work is not in this presentation. So uh, the work doesn't end here. Uh, so there is a part of the work which we're going to be working in September, October, uh, toward the premiere in, in Montpellier, uh, that is very important for the overall journey, but we are not ready to show it now. So just to be aware of that. Hmm. Emma, do you want to add something? Okay. <laughs> um, the last bit, I mean, the, the Google map zooming in, tracking down these graves is, is, is something that um, grows on you while you look at it. The magnitude of it starts just growing you. It becomes like the physical feeling in looking at it. And then the last bit, can you, can you tell about the last bit that we saw, which looked like more like a visual art um, material that you were manipulating? I guess, I, I wonder if it was you, Emma, who was working on this, this material. Um, can you tell us what that bit of the, 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 the work is, 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 is about? Yeah, I mean, um as it, as it was mentioned in the beginning of the of the, of the video, we're working. Uh, our work is started from a, from an existing list, from a document, which we wanted to unfold. And uh, the uh, when accessing this document and diving into this document, we we were confronted with several layers of this catastrophe. And uh, and and one layer. Uh, which is, uh, let's say, we respond to um, in the first part, in the Google Maps and, 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 the, and, and, the, and the gesture of visiting the graves, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's related actually to, 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 to somehow visualize the data that, that, that we are, uh, that the list provided us with, but also to embody this data through, through this gesture of, of visiting the graves. And, and marking these graves and creating this map. Uh, so this is one aspect of, 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 of somehow the reading, our reading of this document. And another uh, reading uh, of this document, which is also mentioned in the beginning, that, that most of the people that are mentioned in this list are uh, 
not identified. Mm -hmm. uh, they are found um, either without identifying details, which, which could be papers, documents, but another kind of horrific uh, uh, element that we were confronted with that, that some, uh, a lot of times, they are found without any possibility to identify their body because their bodies are found in, 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 in um, advanced states of decomposition. Um, and, th and there is something very horrific and very uh, um, yeah, v very uh, disturbing somehow in, in the state of the body, in which state these bodies are found and, and what is happening to these bodies after the death. Um, and and um, when I started to collaborate with, uh, when I invited Muran, uh, who, who created this object and works with with actually with with a lot of uh, uh, material that, that that kind of reminds flesh and and uh, uh, live matter i mean we, we wanted somehow to respond to this horrific aspect uh, of, of this tragedy of, of of the fragility of the body of the if you say bare life of these bodies uh, which are totally stripped uh, from their identity but also stripped from their skin from their flesh uh, by by the sea, by uh, um, so these are kind of these two aspects are, are kind of juxtaposed in the work, um, and and f for us create a kind of a tension between the between the data, uh, between the dry data mm -hmm. and 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 the viscerality and and the decay of the body itself. Mm -hmm. Can I can I say something? Oh yes, please. Yeah, it's also important to understand because very, it's very easy, and we were discussing that a lot, it's very easy to end up in a certain form of morbid curiosity when you transfer yourself into the realm of the body. Uh, uh, and that this morbid curiosity can also feel obscene in a way. But I want to say something which is important, that this issue of decomposition of the bodies is very closely politically related to the fact that they are not identified, not only because it was very difficult to identify, and this is where the politics comes in, but also because, and this was a shocking for me to, re to, to discover, is that there was no concentrated effort to do this identification by the forensic uh, 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 forces that Europe could employ for this so it ended up being a voluntary work on a small number of forensic experts who actually without any uh, assignment from the state decided that they will try to identify the bodies and there is this uh, forensic expert in Italy who, who did the very big work on that so the 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 the, the hor 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 horrific thing also is not just a matter of a how to say, morbid curiosity, it, it, it is uh, related to the politics of this tragedy, uh, to the fact that it is being allowed for enormous number of bodies to be not identified in the continent that is obsessively, forensically, investigated every single case of its own citizens. So, so just to, to, to put this horrific uh, element away from the rotten flesh toward the, I don't want to use the word rotten politics, but I am very close to, 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 to say that. Hmm. It's interesting because I, I remember asking the same question from Arkady when we met and discussed the project. I mean, um, I couldn't believe it knowing what happened after Balkan war, when there was so much forensic uh, collaboration all over Europe, uh, you know, like we know we have the means, we have the instruments, there's just no will. It's almost like sending no. a message no. Uh, no. Uh, not to bother to try to come over. Um, no. It's also uh, striking when we looked at also the material that you have collected, how diverse this groups also are, because we tend to look at the asylum seekers of the migrant, you know, we see people floating on, on, the, on, on, the, on the 
boat somewhere in the Mediterranean, but then when you when you look at the text that goes now with the Google map, you get really shocked about you know the age and what age the people are and 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 how they died and it's just like even with this little information, it's 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 opening the the, the whole discussion into something else than what is the uh, kind of mainstream uh, maybe image of the of it. Arka, did you want to say something? Your finger is I, up. I, I, yeah, I mean, uh, I, I actually, this this uh, um, uh, indeed, like you mentioned, uh, when we're talking about this migration uh, crisis, uh, the the pictures, the the collective picture is is uh, people at the sea, but but actually. Um, this this kind of other, kind of other type of um, um, uh, collect, collecting data was actually already done by United by the organization that is collecting the data. So they actually uh, let's say that they they challenged by their document they already challenged the concept of the border because uh, the border is not at, at at the sea. The border is not at the uh, uh, at the gates of Europe, the border is with these people that are arriving, uh, mm. and, and 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 some of them are arriving into the into Europe, into into our cities, into and they are carrying this border with them. It doesn't stop at the border, and and, and these deaths are are continuing inside Europe. They're continuing in detention centers. They're continuing in suicide uh, when people are chased by the police. Uh, uh, so so. I, I think, um, thanks, like thanks to the work of, of the organization, and I think that they already, let, let's say, uh, challenged uh, uh, this 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 conception of, of what what the border is and where the border is. Um, and uh, I mean, what, what you what, what we do actually. I mean, you mentioned the the small texts. So they are extract. They are extracted from the list. So. Um, um, of course, we're we're adding on top of it, of, of it uh, vi visuals and, and and somehow th this kind of travel and, and, and this kind of three we kind of add, adding three dimensionality to this list uh, mm -hmm. and and uh, aiming for an ad, uh, for a kind of a more embodied experience of this list, uh, kind of traveling through it together collectively and visiting these 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 cases. Part of that embodied um, experience is also the rituals that are performed at the graves. But they are never seen in the video. We see the long road into the grave, but we never see that gesture, that, um, that ritual, that many of the people who are listed at the end as credits have been participating. Um, Why? Yeah. yeah. Do you yeah, want to I, say a little bit more about that? Um, maybe Emma, you can uh, reflect on the yes please. on the co on the growing collective of uh, of searchers. But, uh, what do you mean by the the absence of uh, the ritual? Uh, that we don't see the ritual. You. In the film we see we are approaching the grave, but as I have understood, there is uh, some kind of a ritual that goes with the, with the visit to the graves. Mm -hmm. but, but also the fact that we are, and there is more and more people that are joining the, the mm. actual ritual of visiting the grave. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I, think, I think it's important to say that the visit itself in its fullness is the ritual. Okay, uh, right. But it's also important to say that there is, at the end of this journey, a moment which is very intimate. Uh, uh, it's very personal because you have an encounter with the grave. It, we first had a thought that we will propose a small ritual at every, at every grave. Uh, but we finally decided to leave that as a, something very personal to each person who arrives to that point, and to even, even if it happened, not really show it. Uh, uh, because we also built on top of this 
uh, factual layer of the work, also this phantasmagoric layer, a layer of imagination, you know, uh, that is on also in the text and in the way how we treat the whole thing, which is not only about data, but it's also about body, but it's beyond body, about a myth, myth of, of, of living and of dead. And that part is also something that, to a certain degree, should not be given in the image. It should be something that stay in our imagination. Just to say that, sorry, sorry, Amanda, I felt the need to. to no, no, it's it's very good. Um, yeah, uh, I can add uh, to what Arkady was saying that uh, there is this list, and what is not in this list is precisely the geolocalization of the body, of the bodies, and that's this, uh, so that's like uh, maybe an, uh, an extra uh, column that uh, we've been building by, uh, by, uh, by collecting this uh, data of the coordinates of these graves, and that um, because we, and that's the, the we fr frequently when we've been presenting the, the work, uh, working progress, we are asked about choreography and about dance and uh, where is dance in the work. And for me, this is the most choreographical gesture. This is the, it's the, the, the walk and it's, uh, it's, and it's, uh, a very uh, it's choreographical and very political at the same time and it's and Arkady was speaking about borders and it's also the border of art because it's uh, between the border of uh, citizen and uh, artist in somehow and doing this work so that's why we also invite at the beginning uh, other uh, citizens and to, to have this choreographic uh, symbolic gesture together and that it makes sense in somehow it's, if it's done collectively. So it's also the border between the individual artist and the collective, uh, that is, uh, collective citizens. Well, just following that road with you and when you stop there, it, it already turns into something that it doesn't really, at least for me, it doesn't, it doesn't need more. But I remember that, we, that there was discussion about some kind of yeah, ritual. Yeah. I mean, the ritual is already there. You arrive there and then the yeah. weight of that situation just lands on you. And just breathing in that moment <laughs> feels like enough of a ritual, uh, enough of a respect for, for the dead. And uh, yeah. I mean, there is, there, is, there is something very specific, uh, uh, and, and this is why we also invite uh, people to, to join this, uh, this research, because uh, the ultimate gesture in, of the work is, the, is this visit. It's, it's not only the visit, it's also to search for the one that you're going to visit. And there is a, something quite um, uh, emotionally and viscerally very specific when you, when you start to research a list of uh, more than 40,000 people, and you choose one line and you, and, you, and you work days and days and days and sometimes weeks in order to arrive to that point. And, and, and when you perform this gesture of walking towards that point, there is something is happening. There is a, there is a, a, a shift of perception uh, in relation to, to, to the other, yeah? to, 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 to another. Yeah. Uh, you're, you're visiting a person which you don't know. But, but, but when you visit him, you, you, you learn so much about this person because you also learned about a certain structural violence that led to, to his death. And you have, to, uh, you have to go through all these layers in order to arrive to this point. So, so this walking is not only a, a, a walk, it, it has also a history, a, a personalized history that, that, that you um, um, meet these this people from a... a from a very specific perspective, uh, and, and 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 you 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 almost follow their uh, their the way they died uh, when you walk because I mean with me I'm always when I do this walk when I perform it I uh, this person is w somehow the information that is gathered uh, about this person is present in that moment. Um, 
And, and another aspect of it is, is to say that a lot of these graves are abandoned, uh, are forgotten, are not, uh, as you saw also, a lot of them not marked, or the marked are disappearing. Or, so there is something about just being there, just being there, uh, just giving attention to this place, just giving respect to this body, which, is, which, which becomes a very significant gesture of the, gesture of the project. Yeah. And there is also a, yeah, a relation with local, the local place, because as you saw, we start always uh, around the theater and then we go further and further. So it's also an invitation to look at local cases uh, that are happening nearby. And it's, and it's also, then you suddenly, uh, you're suddenly aware of the fact that it's not happening far away, it's, it happens in the same city where you live. So it's the, this border uh, that uh, people take with them, that uh, Arkady was mentioning, is made very tangible when you search for cases in your own city. Yeah. And uh, one, one detail, just a just detail, which I think also reveals how closely the document is related to ritual or to the myth or to the something which is a, a symbolical action. Because we, we started recording these journeys and we realized that the best place to hold the camera as you walk is at the heart level. Mm -hmm. So we didn't do it because we wanted to produce a symbolical meaning of connecting to your own heart, uh, which would be on the edge of sentimental. It was just a technical operation that gave us the right perspective. But in that technical operation, there is a symbolical meaning because you are getting touched in an emotional way uh, uh, on these journeys. Uh, and in a very profound sense, you start contemplating the importance of the proper respect toward that, especially those that are not being acknowledged. And that's a very important, uh, I would say, life experience. Yes, I have um, some direct questions here that I could, I would like to, because we invited our audiences for the questions, so I would like to, to start from here. Um, there's one question about um, how did you find the places of uh, the death from the paperless migrants? And I think this, this, this question kind of continues. Um, uh, that how could uh, a non-governmental research team get into um, get this information, and is it it's from the NGOs that you were working with, if I understood right? Can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, there is there is no um, clear protocol. Uh, let's say uh, um, what what is cl clear that we're starting from information that exists, yeah. and this is information online. Uh, we usually, our first layer is uh, online research, looking for, for articles, uh, also, by the way, United, the organization that collects this data, is using a lot of media uh, reports in order to collect this information. So sometimes we go to, back to the, to the articles that, that United used in order to, uh, when, when, when uh, mentioning a case. Uh, from there, um, from there, um, if, uh, and in most of the cases, there is, uh, the, 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 the burial place is not mentioned, it, it, is, it, it starts to be a bit more, let's say, complex operation by uh, uh, trying to contact NGOs, institutions, uh, uh, people who uh, uh, work closely with migrants, uh, and uh, with, with the with this with this specific uh, question in, in 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 mind of where where is the exact uh, burial space and sometimes sometimes uh, uh, the, the cemetery uh, is mentioned in in the newspaper for example uh, uh, where where the ceremony took place and then what what it requires actually for us to go there and to scroll through all the cemetery in order to find this specific uh, grave so 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 i think it's um, I mean, 
each case is different and, and how we found information about each case is different. And I think, w w as I mentioned before, it's, it's, it's somehow part of the engagement into, into, in, into this question. It's also it's not only what you find, it's also how you find it and, and which kind of effort you do in order to and, and how, how determined you are to actually arrive to, to this point. Let's say that, um, just to, 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 uh, to mention that until now we visited 593 graves. Uh, which points uh, you see on uh, on the on the map on the on the uh, Google map, um, and the aim of the project, the the impossible, uh, uh, let's say, or this is how we at least inside of the project discuss it. The impossible uh, a task is actually to map all the graves, ba basically to map all necropolis, uh, and 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 it's not not impossible only because uh, it's hard to find them. It's also impossible because these, these deaths are continuing to happen. So we know that uh, it, it will be an ongoing task. The, 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 this project will never end because, mm -hmm. unfortunately, these deaths are continuing to happen. And uh, with, the, with all the geo geopolitical uh, tension, uh, they, are, uh, they probably will only increase. Uh, then there's another question. This is quite long, so I try to be uh, slow reading it to you. Um, I wonder if there is any other information that you came across that is linked to the people who died, a narrative or a story behind the name, age, etc. I am asking because the narratives that appear in the film are from Europeans' perspective. And I am wondering if you thought of proposing any counter narratives that are not from coming Europe's perspective. Yeah, in fact, there, there is a lot. We find a lot of documentation that we collect and that we keep. And uh, actually, the the information that uh, is uh, mentioned is exactly the information that is in the list. So that was a, a choice, a very uh, literal choice to stick to the information that is in the list. And uh, the list, uh, the, 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 the one that are in charge of the list, uh, in, they uh, in general try to uh, reduce what is uh, being said in the news. Uh, so yeah, it's a very uh, European uh, perspective. Uh, it tries to, to, to be reduced to the facts, let's say. That's what, that's, uh, yeah. Uh, it's a bit, for me, it's a bit more complicated because, as I already said, there is an issue of facts, which is, of course, coming, kind of growing from the European tradition of enlightenment this obsess, obs obsessiveness about facts, which we kind of, kind of, on which basis we claim our foundations of our culture. Uh, the, the problem with that is that we wanted, on one hand, to criticize that directly, or to contemplate, to think about the importance or unimportance of facts in relation to the human suffering. Uh, uh, so that's one thing. So there is this phantasmagoric build, build up on top, which is a storytelling element of the story. So not in a content, but in a form, we are trying to navigate between two different protocols. The protocol of a Western obsession with categorization and archiving, and on the other way, a protocol of storytelling, which we could only learn from the cultures which are actually non-European because in the official discourse of Europe, the storytelling is only considered as something problematic and then we come in relation to what is the place of art, of documentary theater and so on and so on. There are many issues there. But I want to point to one thing where I think we touch most personally to something which is not European discourse in my opinion today, unfortunately, but it's universal human, but it's actually present in the other cultures still very strong, including my culture, I'm coming from Balkan, which is already something else than the Western European 
paradigm of, um, uh, of what is to be considered important, and this is uh, what, what is what is that aspect is respect toward that. You know, respect toward that is very important civilizational component that is being lost in our own culture, but is extremely present in other cultures. It's related to the whole issue of ancestor, ancestors, it's related to the issue of uh, that without living with the death, our own life has no value. Uh, we need to be in relation to those who passed. So if somebody is forgotten that it's our responsibility to take care of that in however small gesture we can do it, to make it not being forgotten anymore, that for me goes beyond the Western uh, post-enlightenment discourse that we are still living under the, 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 the shadow of. If no one wants to add, um, I would like to run at least one more question from the from the YouTube. Um, there is a question about um, the present situation and about um, the how the COVID-19 pandemic influence has that influenced migrant movements. Uh, what do you think? And I have to say, we, I remember talking about this when the pandemic had started and we realized there was, the, it somehow it was rubbing shoulders with this uh, project. Not that they, that they are totally different things, but there was something that started speaking to you from, uh, from this specific time and the challenges of our time now. So I wonder if you could say a few words about that. Well, uh, uh, as, a, as a very... I would say, I'm sad to say, o obvious uh, uh, situation is is the, the 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 detention centers that where where people are um, uh, stuffed in uh, uh, on, in the borders of Europe, uh, and uh, of course the biggest concern uh, that. Uh, uh, COVID brought is the is an accumulation of people and, uh, with with no access to to sanitary and to and and the, uh, the, the detention centers are these places where where uh, a place that can inhabit eight eight hundred people inhabits few thousands of people and more more than that. So um, uh, I mean there is there are, there are already a, a kind of let's say ghettos. Uh, that 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 of course in in, in these ghettos the, the the biggest fear or uh, is that the, the the pandemic will spread of course much faster um, and um, and there are there are of course uh, um, I mean uh, there are deaths of of migrants from from COVID as well and 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 it's also uh, 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 Tells uh, also the, the the story of you know the the situation of access to healthcare and to uh, th that is uh, th that migrants have much less uh, uh, than uh, than the citizens. Um, I don't know. Maybe others can. I mean, none of these issues are divorced from the others. I mean, there are three big ones. You know, uh, one is the ecological crisis. Another one is a health crisis that we are experiencing, and the, uh, the third one is migration. Uh, they are all interrelated profoundly. Unfortunately, we are not in a situation in this project to reflect equally on all of them, but you know, there is a space for a further contemplation of how the migration, which is touched upon in a phantasmagoric text about the people from the south, from the burning land, traveling through the desert, because that's where the, the biggest effects of the ecological crisis are being felt, is that the people are staying dispossessed now on that basis, and that makes them move. As they are moving, they are, they are, they are being gathered in a un, 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 uh, surreal conditions where the, any kinds of infections can spread, uh, uh, and, in, and so on, and so on, and so on. You can unfold this narrative 
in which all of our predicament of the moment on the social and political predicament are essentially interrelated with one another, not to mention the post-colonialism and colonialism before it that actually also created the ground on which this kind of catastrophe is growing, and so on and so on and so on. So, so uh, the story goes on in many directions and on many levels, and uh, in order to create something intensely embodied, you need to choose your point of entrance, but it's, that's not to say that there is not endless number of other points of entrance to see what is going on in the world of which this is a part. Um, I think we are coming towards the end of our time together. I wish if you could talk a little bit how to continue this work now. So we saw parts of the video material and the kind of more uh, um, graphic material that you're working with and how do you continue with this work? And you said the premiere would be in Montpellier in the fall, if everything goes fine. Yeah. Um, well, a a actually, another aspect of, of, of this, uh, this work that we are trying to somehow uh, unleash is, 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 is the ghosts. Uh, uh, a lot, uh, as as we mentioned, uh, a lot of um, of the of the people that are mentioned in the list are not identified, meaning their stories are not complete. They're they're uh, in a sense they are they are uh, living dead, uh, and they they should uh, or they are if if we allow them to, and I think we should allow them to haunt us. Uh, uh, we should not sleep. Uh, we should not sleep until these 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 stories are not uh, resolved, and, and and a name is not given to a person, which is systematically being uh, not uh, uh, not uh, performed by the, by the European uh, uh, policymakers, uh, and and so using the materials that you saw in the end, this this more graphic material, we, we we're trying to actually unleash the ghost. Uh, to 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 let this um, uh, this flesh somehow to to come to life. I will I will keep it a bit uh, uh, vague for now, so for, for people to to still mm. discover what what mm. what 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 is coming. But 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 we want to to hunt ourselves. We want we want to. Uh, uh, we want to welcome these ghosts to be with us, somehow. Hmm. So I, I hope everything goes well, and uh, this pandemic allows you to continue the work. Um, this is, research has been going on for years now already, um, and um, I wish you the best of luck with, with with all of it and i hope we will see here one day live and we can do this discussion maybe again after we have seen the the the, the final performance because it really also triggers how do you to hear the more you hear about how you put these layers how you think of those different layers makes you really curious to see how does that turn into the work whether as Emma was saying, where, where the dance, where the movement is still, where the data, the heart core data, the archive, all those things come together. And we do know from previous works that this is this is really um, this will happen, and it will be uh, something um, to experience for everyone. So thank you so much for joining us this in this gloomy, rainy evening here in Berlin. At least it's raining, and it uh, feels like the fall is here already. Um, Thank you so much, and um, until we see, stay safe, and uh, till next time.